positive. Yes. I know it's a lot to take in at this point in time. Okay, positive. I don't know. One of the blood tests that we did is the HIV positive. Jason, the HIV I'm afraid test. I don't really have good news for you. HIV. The blood test HIV. that we did is the HIV test. I'm afraid I don't really have good news. One of the blood tests yes. that we did is the HIV. Jason, HIV. 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 This cannot be possible. Why did I think that things were going to be alright? My family, they're going to be judged. They're going to judge me, my mom and my dad. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Actually, I wanted to ask. Yes, sir? Does this clinic only treat? HIV patients? Oh, okay, no. We have other cases like dengue, hand foot mouth, chicken pox, muscovy. Usually at this first visit, what I do with patients is, you know, just sit down, have a conversation uh, so that I can find out a little bit more about what you're going through, what your health is like, answer any questions that you may have, and then after that, uh, do a quick physical examination so that I have a good idea of what your overall health is like. Yeah, so usually for our patients who are diagnosed and come to see us for the first time, uh, we'll always ask you to go and see the medical social worker. She is uh, very trained in this field and experienced because oftentimes when people are getting a diagnosis of HIV, you know, something that can be quite life-changing, it really helps to speak to someone who may be able to offer some advice, give you some supportive counselling. There are numerous financial assistance schemes that are in place that can really make medication available and accessible and affordable. Yeah. So, shall we go and see her now? Yeah, sure. Okay, come, let me show you where to go.